Hello everyone and welcome to the Smart Bee Racing Update. Lewis and Bryce with you on a Thursday night. How are you, Bryce? Yeah, good. Thanks, mate. Thanks for having me as usual. A couple winners last weekend, which is good. So I can to find some more this weekend. Absolutely. Let's get stuck in. We've got a bit of territory to cover this week, starting on Friday at Tamworth. Uh, race number seven, um, and you like one here? Yeah, I do, mate. Niali Sands, uh, runner number eight. If you if anyone's got any spare time over the next day, go catch its run three back against Helsey Bell, who's won a few starts since. It was a dollar twenty five that day, Helsey Bell, and mate, it is. Uh, it was one of the biggest finales I've ever seen. I reckon it was twenty lengths off Helsey Bell. Uh, in the straight, and it and it lost by a head. It was, it was really really big. Came out next start. No one uh, missed it, and it was a dollar thirty and one. And then end of run prep, where they just sat it up on speed, and it knocked up. Resumes here off a spell. I just reckon it's a lot better than these, mate. Five fifty at the moment. Um, I reckon this can head to a highway or something like that. And uh, it looked ready to go in a recent trial. So I, I think that's a cracking bet to start off the weekend. Like it, mate. Build the bank on Friday. Let's uh, move to Saturday. Uh, Sunshine Coast, I think, is the main meeting in Brisbane. And race four, you are keen to play. Yeah, perspiration. I've been on this all prep. was a good thing beaten uh, two runs back when it was just a, a really poor ride by Johnny Allen uh, behind Faroche. Should have won that day, but... Came out and romped in, beating Snack Bar. Snack Bar's come out and won again since an open company. So the form looks really good. Six into four dollars straight away. Uh, the mare stable's going better than anything in Australia right now. Barrier four and Marky Zara. My only knock here, mate, is at the moment it's a field of 22, which will come down with scratchings. But it is going to need some luck at some point. It's only a short race and uh, there's a, it's going to be a stacked field. So... Need some gaps to open up or a good ride, but I do think this is the clear best horse in the race, so I'm pretty keen to be with it. Uh, on to Newcastle, uh, which is also the feature meeting there, the New South Wales feature meeting with the Coast, the feature race. Uh, race number three, uh, you're keen to play? Yeah, it was uh, at Gossard, mate. It's been moved to Newcastle just recently so i know they're copying a fair bit of rain uh, around that area i'm with uh full doubt here nine dollars really good win last start uh again trying to find something in a uh in one of these sort of highway races but one by a length and a half was held up for a lot of the straight and reese jones and northern stable combine again here so good draw lightweight there's a few good ones in this, mate. Um, no denying the favourite's good, and a few of these are. But um, I just think at $9, this is a really progressive type. It looks up to these, and um, I just think it's worth worth being in this highway. So each way play there, mate, is uh, Fool's Doubt. Fool's Doubt, race three, Newcastle. Uh, down to Caulfield. I was keen to play a couple at Caulfield. Race three, I think our Red Morning's a really nice horse. Um who hit the line very smartly first up at Mornington, didn't have any luck at all, and just the way it just sort of moved through the field, I thought was was well signified. It's come back well. Um, I just think you can go very very close here um, in a pretty ordinary race, and four dollars sixty um, is is pretty fair to find out. Have you got any thoughts in that race? Have you done that race? No, I'll steer clear of this one, mate. Uh, interesting runner though, Stone Cold Stunner. I know that's been a winning machine in. My old homeland, Tassie. Uh, very stern test for it here, but yeah, it's 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 won. Um, I think five or six of its last seven or eight races. So mm-hmm. I'm not saying that a win, but yeah, it's going along super. But uh, yeah, that's uh, I'll stick out of this one, mate. Race six at Caulfield. I was happy to spec a couple at odds. Just thought the ones up the top were well enough found. Um, thought with Scarly was a really nice run first star um, and be closer here. With Linda in the saddle, um, it can it can do something at a big price. And number eight, um, not sure how to pronounce its name, but never saw daylight first up there in Australia for Kieran. 
Ma, I was going to say Eustace, but just Kieran now, of course, um, looks to have something off it, to offer in the straight and um, draws out up in trip now. And, um, yeah, I reckon it can do something here. There's already been a little bit of money for it. Have you, have you, done, have you had a look at this race? Is it Jinga's Prestige? That looks. I'm not sure. Yeah, let's go. It looks that. pretty hard to say. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, 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 can, I can see what you're saying. I, I caught the run as well and, and thought it did have a fair bit to give. Um, the other one I, I didn't mind was Fagan. It's bumped in to see what I see. It's past two starts, but we know that horse is pretty good. So it was second to it two starts back. So that might be the one that's also a little bit over the odds. I, I agree with you though. Both of the two or three chances in the market look pretty well found here and short enough. 100%. And uh, let's just finish on the group one in Adelaide, the Goodwood. Um, Amelia's Jewels come up favourite, the WA mare. Really, really talented animal. Draws, draws well here. Does she need a little bit further than 1,200? I'm not sure. Um, Benedetta looks pretty well backed early. Uh and then, yeah, Oscar's Fortune also in the market with Pike coming over to ride. Uh, have you done this race? Yeah, it's a pretty tricky one, isn't it? You can go a lot of directions. Johnny Rock is looming big odds. Oh, he's come in leaps and bounds. I know he's been up a while this prep, but he's he's got the right form. You know, um, Peritrees, you know how much I like that horse. So two runs back, almost knocked it over. And uh, I reckon that's pretty good for this. Benedetta is always, I've always been a fan of Benedetta. It's going along nicely. It's got, it's got some good form lines. Amelia's Jewel. Yeah, I think, I think it's both two runs have been good without being incredible. So you're right. I'm, I'm not too sure whether the trip suits. Uh, I know to be wound up for this and, and Damien Lane uh, is, was having a sensational season. So really hard race, mate. I'm, I'm probably going to steer clear. But I think Johnny Rock is maybe the one that's a little bit over the odds at the moment. What are your thoughts on this? I reckon we're half lined up there, mate. I thought if you don't have a bet in the race, Johnny Rock is probably the one. Can it can it hold its form? It's obviously sort of getting deeper into a prep now. It's um, been up to Sydney on the heavy ground, um, but geez, mm. it's gone, gone super. Its last three, it's been it's been really really good, um, and it might yeah. be able to get at the back of a horse like Amelia's Jewel and get over the top of it. I mean that that right that run two back to Imperatrice looks obviously looks really good, um, and it showed last start that it, it was no fluke that run. The horse is obviously uh, horse is going super for Nick Ryan, um, who is a gun trainer. All right, everyone, that'll uh, that'll just about do for this week. Um, good luck to everyone at home, and uh, have a good week. Thanks, mate. Likewise. Soto finished between second and third. Oh, it's close.